The thing I love about cycling in London is that you get to feel that it's your city. <laughs> I'm told there's an art to it and I just haven't mastered it. I guess I shouldn't really call it a Boris bike. They're Ken's bikes, aren't they? Ken Livingstone was actually the one that started the bike scheme. When you're cycling on a spring day in the sunshine, like, I guess I do what I feel, which is just to sing on my bicycle and I get loads of funny looks, but that's, it's the only thing I do in London that spontaneously makes me want to sing. Uh, so yeah, as the sun sets on the last Friday of the month, we all kind of gather at South Bank to start Critical Mass. I think like Critical Mass is, it's like a, what, a two hour community every Friday at the end of the month. There's a sense of subversiveness about Critical Mass that, that brings that group together coherently for that point in time. A friend of mine described Critical Mass really well. Um, he phrases it as a bike ride for anyone with a cause on two wheels. I guess the only cause for me is celebrating cycling and celebrating the fact that cyclists belong on the roads as well. Around the time that I started cycling, I had got a bit fed up with London and was finding it such a drag, the amount of time it took to get anywhere and felt like all I did was commute and work and I'd started a new job and after two weeks I was ready to resign and decided to try a bicycle and it just suddenly opened London up for me and made me realise what an amazing city I live in. I completely fell in love with London all over again. I can remember the first time I did Critical Mass and suddenly cycling along the Euston Road in Marylebone and just this, you know, this huge four-track road that is full of cyclists, none of the cars can budge an inch and that was just an amazing feeling and something that is completely unique to this experience. Click the videos to watch more Londoners and don't forget to subscribe.